God's people had been living in Babylon for decades. King Nebuchadnezzar had completely destroyed Jerusalem. Many of God's people had died. Others lived in Babylon. Some of their children and grandchildren were born in Babylon and grew up there. But Babylon was not their home. Before God's people were taken away from Judah, God promised through the prophet Jeremiah that the exile would last 70 years. Then God would bring his people back to the land. At last, the time had come for God's people to go home. Cyrus, king of Persia, had taken over Babylon. God gave Cyrus an idea. Cyrus made an announcement. God wants me to build him a temple in Jerusalem. So let all of God's people go back to Jerusalem so they can rebuild the Lord's temple. Anyone who stays behind should give the travelers anything they need. Gold and silver, animals, and gifts for God's temple. The exile was over. God's people were free to go back to their homes. God's promise was coming true. So the people got ready to go to Judah. All their neighbors helped them by giving them gifts, gold and silver, animals, and other expensive things. King Cyrus even brought out the dishes that King Nebuchadnezzar had taken from the temple in Jerusalem before he destroyed it. The king's treasurer counted them. 30 gold basins, 1,000 silver basins, 29 silver knives, 30 gold bowls, 410 silver bowls, and 1,000 other pieces. In all, there were 5,400 pieces of gold and silver. The leader of God's people, a man named Sheshbazar, brought all these things along when the captives returned from Babylon to Jerusalem. God always keeps his promises. God chose to use King Cyrus in his plan to graciously deliver his people from exile. King Cyrus' action to free the people reminds us of Jesus, when God chose to rescue sinners and bring us to our true home in his kingdom of grace.